Now the latest from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. Scotts Bluff Body and Paint, you're driving home our reputation. A flurry of signing day activity between Scotts Bluff and Gearing High School. The first stop yesterday afternoon was over at Gearing High, where senior Grady Robbins made his football plans official as he signed with Shadron State College. Um, it's kind of been my whole goal since uh, Boyle told me that I was that it was a possibility my sophomore year, and over my sophomore year, my junior, and my senior year, it's all been working towards this, and I'm glad I decided to. Robbins has been the rock of the Gearing program for the last couple of years. He finished his career with 242 tackles as a junior and as a senior. He was top 10 in tackles in Class B. It's meant huge. It's, it's been my life for the past six years, seven years. And to see it go away is, is a really hard thing because, I mean, once a bulldog, always a bulldog, you know? Now, Gearing head coach Danny O'Boyle has consistently referred to Robbins as the type of kid that best represents what a Gearing football player should be. Toughness, dedication, talented, and a hard worker. You know, something we talk about with all of our kids that want to go on to the next level is how important it is to be able to buy into things and, and become part of something that's bigger than oneself. Um, and Grady epitomizes that. I mean, and you know, he's very selfless, and like you said, he's tough. Um, he's somebody that's always going to get the job done and you know just the statements that he made a few minutes ago where he, he credits you know his parents and his coaches and his um, teammates for where he's gotten to today. Um, don't get me wrong, Grady has put in a ton of work on his own. Um, he studies the game more than a lot of people that I've ever been around at any level. Um, and it, It's really like having another coach on the field and in the program with Grady. So I know he's going to be able to take those traits to the next level and that will help him be successful in life as well. Grady Robbins sent to head to the linebacker room with the Eagles, signing yesterday to play football at Shadron State. Following the stop at Gearing, it was off to Scotts Bluff High School, where one of the top running backs in Class B history was sent to make his decision. Bearcat senior Sebastian Boyle will play at the FCS level after signing with the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina. And I decided to go there because I thought it was the best place for me and where I could show my best capabilities. And it just had the best uh, stuff for my future I want to be. Boyle played three years at the varsity level for Scott's Bluff after his family moved in from Colorado. And being a part of a winning program and tradition along with culture at Scott's Bluff should serve Boyle well moving forward. All those morning practices, all those long journeys with the team, all those competitive games could probably help me be as a man and play at such a competitive level. And I'm just ready for the next chapter of my life. As for the stats, well, they're quite impressive. In three seasons, Boyle ran for over 5,000 yards, and he had 68 rushing touchdowns for head coach Judd Hall. Yeah, he's been a really good player for our program. Um, done everything that we've asked of him to do, um, had a very successful career, but has also been a, a great teammate uh, along the way. So a couple, of, a couple of those things that stand out for Sebastian is that he's uh, first class um, on and off the field and does things the right way. I and mean, I think he'll continue to do that at the, at the Citadel. Scott's Bluff Sebastian Boyle sent to join the military lifestyle and football team at the Citadel in South Carolina. On, on Monday, we'll take a look at a few signings for the Scott's Bluff girls soccer program with Mariah Russell and Ashton Schwartz. Couple quick notes on the way out. District wrestling for boys and girls this weekend. We'll have basketball Friday and Saturday. Scott's Bluff and Gehring making the dueling trips to North Platte and McCook. Cougar men a home game tomorrow night at 6. Cougar baseball opening the season this weekend in New Mexico. That's the latest today from the Scott's Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.